Yo, what's good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Dave. I'm coming with you another celebrity updated news from the land of professional wrestling. Ultimate Girl addresses negative feedback when it comes to initial situation that happened in the initial match with Okada on June 22nd episode of AEW Collision. Many fans were surprised to see Guerrero wrestle with a mask as he previously lost it at the CML anniversary card in 2024. At the end of Guerrero's match against Okada, Okada pulled the mask off and then uh, CML, the CML started Guerrero put it back directly back on. Fans in attendance also noted that Guerrero mask came off multiple times throughout the course of the match. And then, of course, Guerrero did chime in directly through via Facebook where he discussed the issues he had regarding the mask, knowing that he did not have a mask when he got to the arena and he didn't, did not think that he would need one when he wrestled there for the initial show. Ultimate Girl message also can be seen directly as it was initially translated where he initially said a story to, to tell I, can, I came to the dressing room of the recorded location for a AW collision function unforeseen for me for, for um, one day to the next where I had to fight with a mask. It turns out I had no mask arriving at the location. They realized there was no mask immediately. Company worker was um, working fast pace when it came to initially everything to make me an unusual mask that he made were to reflect his loyalty as he has his work within an hour or so, or so checking and worrying to make sure that I look good as well. Everyone criticized why he pulled out the mask and I'm thinking about the sacrifice of the person in my respect because it's the work of a great working man of an AE that represented my sacrifices and that's why I put it on. And he went up with it and sometimes many people will do something for us and we do not take them for account or for granted. But with pride, I will continue to keep the mask and wear the mask. But on my, on my own personal opinion, I felt like it was a great um, thing seeing him going back to his actual Spanish roots as he is a great talent just in general for CMLL. And I look forward to seeing the long-term booking of if he continues to work, have a working relationship with AEW in the long run. Initially going back to his traditional mask instead of um, having one made on the fly. But AEW's um, Seamstress Screw really did a phenomenal job of keeping him in good top tier of looking great when it comes to his appearance against Okada. But as well as um, we shall see how things continue to transpire in the long run with everything that needs to continue to happen. But chime in in the comments and let me know what you guys feel about this whole initial situation. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Until then, I'm out. Peace.